Good afternoon, everyone. El Nino warming is finished, and the pause is back. It doesn't matter if you look in the southern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere, or combine the temperatures together, the pause is back. And European Geosciences Union puts out a nice article talking about sea ice less sensitive than the IPCC indicates it is, and also says that it's actually increased slightly over the past 30 years. This is also based on voyages of actual people who went down there, not just a satellite measurement. And those of you asking for solutions to the climatic zones shifting as we get into the grand solar minimum, here you go. Turn your house into an indoor grow space. And please take a moment to jump over to GetTheTea.com. I really like their Moringa product that they have. It gives me more energy in the morning to start my day. And as you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt2030. Global Warming Policy Forum headline, satellites show the global warming pause is back. Temperatures dropping off a cliff as would be expected with the grand solar minimum. That last El Nino staved off the cooling by a couple of years. Taking a close in look at the last year, El Nino's definitely finished. Dr. Roy Spencer, UAH satellite temperatures showing as well were only at 0.4 over the baseline, not 1.5C like the IPCC always states, not even close. That's literally one degree C less. The charts right here, you can create your own on woodfortrees.org jump over there. There's an enormous amount of information to enter about our Earth's working systems for temperature. This is the southern hemisphere overlaid with the sunspot cycle. Pause. Northern hemisphere overlaid with the sunspot cycle. Pause. Global average mean overlaid with the sunspot cycle. Pause. Now if we take it further back to the 1840s, Notice the two orange asterisks there that show that cooling around 1910, but notice how fast it rose up, far faster than anything today. Oh yeah, they forgot to include that in all these things they've been telling you for the last few years about how quickly temperature rises, and that it's never happened before, you can see that it has. Jumping over to the European Geosciences Union, great article here on the Antarctic sea ice from explorers accounts compared to today's satellite references, showing that the Antarctic is less sensitive than first thought, and also that the Antarctic has increased slightly over the last 30 years, contrary to all the news releases. This graphic's amazing here. This is all the voyages of explorers going down to map out, claim, scout the Antarctic, and what they did was overlay that with our current satellite data as to where they ran into the ice as they were making their voyage to the south part of the world. And the Antarctic sea ice is not even changing. It's actually increasing. This NASA study? Oh yeah, you didn't hear about that in the news releases, did you? White out here for you. This is from NASA, the amount of gigatons per year. And you notice out in West Antarctica... This graphic here actually pinpoints where the underwater volcanoes are around Antarctica. The red is an underwater volcano. Absolutely stunning graphic right here. And being a fan myself of exploration, jump over to old weather. They take you through the voyages of each of the steamers or sailing ships and how they went around the world into the Arctic areas exploring and it's all interactive where you can follow their voyages. There's a lot of information that you're missing about what they found during these voyages. A lot of you have asked me for solutions to this grand solar minimum. As our climatic zones shift south, how can you grow food? How can you supply yourself, your community, your family? How about turning the exterior of your home into an interior growing space that's protected from the weather, including hail. 
few nice ideas for you here. I don't know if you would use this much glass at least. Some of the walls can be converted over quite easily. Again, beautiful image of the night sky overlaid here with the greenhouse. That's definitely an inviting space. That is community written all over it. This is the way forward. Now, speaking of clean foods, please take a moment to jump over to getthetea.com. Ronnie has a full line of detoxing teas, detoxing formulas. After I started taking this D365, I did feel an energy boost and my mind was also clearer. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And if you like the information presented here, please subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030, and I'll keep more stories like this coming to you.